And, and Jim, you know that you touched the hearts of everyone around the world with your openness and your willingness to work with our kids and, and the, the lengths that you were willing to go to to get down on the floor and cut that little boy's hair. Now, uh, Mason, I believe, was his name. Is that correct? Yes, it was Mason, yeah. And, and it would, that would have been enough, Jim, if that was all you ever did. But I, I have been following you over the last couple of months, and this has really been a life-changing thing for you, has it not? It has. It's been incredible. A lot, a lot of stuff has been happening. It's, uh, it's, but it's good. I love it. I'm enjoying every bit of it. So give nice. us an update. What's happening now? What have you decided to do? Um, well, I thought I took the opportunity, um, after, obviously after seeing so many families that were obviously asking, um, obviously across the globe, um, to, to have my help and obviously appreciate what I've done and so many families obviously wishing to say, like, they wish they'd met someone like me when I was younger. Um, so I thought to myself, well, let's take the opportunity and now I open my, my barber shop, um, an extra day a week on a Sunday, uh, obviously, you know, especially just for the, the children on the spectrum. So a whole day every week that's just devoted to these families coming in and having... Now, I've seen some pictures of you guys and, and going that extra mile, sitting on the floor, sitting on the couch, uh, taking care of the haircuts. Uh, yeah. it's, it's kind of amazing what you've been doing. Have you had a big response from families? Are you getting a lot of customers? A lot, yeah. So, well, I'm, um, I'm already now booked up a month in advance on Sundays already. So is is... Uh... It's really good. It's good, as you know. It's good to have the feedback for it, and obviously, I'm glad to obviously give something back now and see if I can help more, more children and more families get a little extra my love. Now, more things. I, is it my imagination, or have I seen that you have also been taking the time to learn a little bit more about autism? Yeah. Um, well, it was a bit of a you know, it was a nice little present from my uh, my colleague. Actually, he thought, well, give me something um, that I could always carry with me for the rest of my life. So he bought me a. Um, an autism awareness diploma. So I've uh, just started the um, first two, uh, the first, I passed the first two out of eight exams so far, which is really good. Amazing. So, uh, so he didn't just buy the diploma for you, he bought the education that comes with it and now you're going through the education, is that correct? Yes. Amazing. Well, and, and I know that you, you've got some other big things that are coming down the pike, but are you ready to, to disclose what, what some of the things are that you're doing, or is it still we're keeping it close to the vest? Um, let's see. Well, basically, I can probably give a little bit of a, bit of a sneak in on it. It's okay. um, basically we're looking um, to take a team um, of barbers, which I've, um, I've spoke you know, quite um, big up in the, in the UK, and we're basically going to get a team called the ABA. Uh, which is called the um, Autistic Barbers Assemble. Um, basically, what we're going to try and do, um, which we hope is going to work, is to take um, a team to certain locations in in the UK, like obviously like England, Scotland, and, and Ireland and Wales, um, and we set up an event especially for that day, just to take bookings for children on the spectrum and uh, obviously raise money for charity and obviously help get kids to get over the, the fear of the haircut. Jim, I just got to tell you that if, I, I, don't, I don't know where your parents are, but they must be so proud of you. Yeah, they, they think they're doing pretty good. Like, they, they see you all the time, I mean, just, but uh, they don't show it. They don't show the emotion of behind it, but, you know, I think they're pretty, they're pretty happy around the win. But, You're not you know, my kid, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Uh, this is amazing. And so uh, so kind of a touring kind of, kind of thing so you can get to the families who can't get to you in Wales. Well, I hope that at some point you decide to come over the pond and, and bring something like that to the United States because clearly you've touched a nerve here and, and so many people have commented on how hard this has been for them. So I, I really want to applaud you. Anything else that you want to tell our viewers at home? Um, basically, like I say, like, obviously, you know, obviously I hope, like, people can follow me, um, obviously on my personal Facebook, James Williams, um, you can follow, obviously, Jim the Trim, which you, if you want to, but I do like to post a lot of stuff on my own, my own personal one, obviously, because I like to share that a lot, with, obviously, that's where a lot of my followers are coming from now. So, what, uh, where should we go, then, to follow the, the one that you want us to follow? Um, but basically just type just James Williams and then obviously they'll see the photo of me with Mason on the floor. Um, so obviously that gives it an easy way to, um, to access it. 
Okay. Um, and obviously, just keep on obviously willing to see what I'm trying to do because I th I do believe like um, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening this year. Like I say, August August the twenty eighth is the actual first um, event, which is which I think I should tell people across the other side. Okay. Um, that's when we're starting it, and it's going to be in Scotland. Wonderful.